Hello and welcome. It's good to have you all here for another update of the heart. So we're getting into this new energy of September 2022 and with that kind of the end of the year. The astrologers are telling us that there's so much going on right now. Lots of planets in retrograde and just a lot of energy allowing us to, to dare, to dare to be who we truly are. And so I am taking this opportunity to dare and to inspire and encourage you to dare. On one hand, many things are falling apart and it's a good thing because the cycles of life, one thing comes to an end and another thing gives birth. And so the message that I got from my guides, and I want to make sure I don't mess it up, is about letting the light in so the heart can shine. And now comes the difference to what we had in the past, maybe, to really start manifesting and feminifesting. So this for me is the, the whole idea or the, the energy from the heart for the last three months of the year, but in particular for September. And we already know that the heart is really the the entrance, the portal into this new consciousness, into these choices we have made. And, and the heart is now also here to help us to manifest and femifest. Now, this is not my word, femifest. You may have heard me using it before. It comes from this wonderful lady doctor. I forgot the name now. She had an interview with Zach Bush. Gladys, 100 years old. Mac something okay in any case she talks about femifesting and for me that fits in very well the manifesting is more the physical part and this is really really important but as we know the physical is actually less than 10 percent of what makes up our reality so the femifesting brings the flavor the color and is focusing on how all these things are relating together. Why the manifesting makes sure it's safe, make sure it is out there in all its light. So yes, it's an exciting time. And as I said, the main spirit for me, and this is what my guides are bringing through. So I dare to tell you that, yes, Merlin talks to me and my unicorn and the unicorns in, in general, sometimes the dragons, Serapis Bay and Saint Germain and there's two differences now and this applies for all of us this is not about me I listen more and I I integrate it more it's not a following but it is really I'm trusting it more so this is more this is what I'm talking about for this month's trust it Dare. Daring is a beautiful thing. You may not have all the evidence. And often we are in that kind of, I don't know it all. I don't know. No. Dare. Trust your guidance. Trust your heart. And dare. So there's four points that I'm inviting you to dare this month. And again, I make sure I give the points to you in the way that it came to me. So one is really that quest for self. I have left development and all of that long time ago. First when it frustrated me, when they cut, it, cut down trees and then what am I developing? The shamanic world talks about quests and, and a quest is just, I have a question, let's see. And I go out and it's not about putting yourself in danger. It's putting yourself out to really explore 
to journey where this quest can take you and for the answers. So this is very important now that we really dare to go on our soul's quest. The soul wants to talk to you. The soul is unleashing the, the, the higher potential, the fifth dimension and beyond stepping out of the 5,000 years of domination and control and power over and having to be right and fear and into that trust in the living consciousness and your wholeness. So the soul's quest is really getting strong now and encouraging you to love self. So I'm not talking here about self-love. I'm talking about love for self. And the self is not your persona. The self is all that we are. The soul, the body, the senses, the mind, of course the heart, because this is the key and the portal to everything, the center point. Begin to love self. And on that note, we were finding some information the other day that just came to us as it does. Dr. Hopkins once referred to that the vitality and the health in the body can be measured by hertz. And the lower our vibrations, or the lower the hertz, the more sicknesses we may experience. The higher, when we go over 200 hertz, the more vital we are vital and vibrant, beyond health as in the absence of sickness. So imagine you would know what it takes to put your frequency up or your vibration. Well, he also gave an answer to that. It is love. So imagine you are able to fill your cells with love. And again, remember, the cells are only the physical part of your being. This is not ego. This has nothing to do with ego. This is really stepping into love. And love is not a feeling either. It is not the three-dimensional love that we have learned. This is this full acceptance, that gratitude, that amazing knowing I'm here for something. And it will be amazing. I accept my soul's quest. And part of this is loving yourself, loving that self that you are so that you can shine. The second one, and this is what changed in the energy now. So we were mapping and exploring and doing all these amazing things, thinking and, and creating. And now we are landing. So I feel when we are in our full self, when we are fully connected to all that we are, we are in our presence. And now we have an opportunity to land this presence into the new world and new earth. So the world is more what humans and hopefully more homo luminous than homo sapiens as this is kind of the extinction and the shift that we are experiencing that we're really landing it and our presence as homo luminous is one with nature knows the cycles and and lives in harmony and when we're landing now this presence it really makes a difference it really shines your light it sings from the heart and again it's about manifesting and femifesting it's that physical but also the non-physical so this is the second part of daring that I'm inviting you to the third part is also interesting it's about reviewing our roles and relations many of us were in a fighting mode for quite some time. Now oh, I don't want this. Why are they doing this? This is actually over. 
we have been invited to come into our presence and review our roles. In transactional analysis, which is one of my favorite practical, um, how should I say, theories, very applied for me, we're in the drama triangle. This is just a little example for us right now, where the roles are here. I need to fix everything because I'm right. I need to control that, the power over the misunderstood masculine. The victim, they did it to me. This is horrible. Why it's always me, the suffering. The villain, I'm the bad one here. Or I'm the judge. These are different roles that Bernie put out and, and of course all the people who are using transactional analysis after. And really, when you're on that triangle, you're not getting anywhere. And I feel for a long time, we have all been on this triangle. And it was also part of this triangle that said, I don't want this, I need to fight. The fight doesn't get anywhere. Now is the time to review your roles. Become an architect of the new world, consciousness architect, of course. Become an alchemist of the new world. Start building. Put your energy in that positive, in that new thing that is evolving. The third one that we are ready to dare. Oh, I forgot the relations. Review your relations. Allow intimacy. This is not about sex. This is about opening up. Sharing what you have never shared. Talk about how you are connected to the stars, the experiences you have, what makes you wonder. Of course, you're choosing the people who, who can appreciate that and maybe open up with you. Intimacy is not something that only happens on your own. So now let me go in the last one because I see I'm going actually quite long today and I do hope you are still here. So the fourth part that I feel my guides are telling me about is about daring to speak your language. Communication is a big thing. Emotional intelligence supposedly is a big thing. But what's behind it, it's really the language that you speak. It's not only the empathy. It's not only the compassion. It is what is the language of your heart? What is really coming out when you speak? Do you want to convince or do you want to want to influence? Influence can be positive. Everything can be positive and negative, but when it comes from the heart, love and integrity, it should always be of the light. What is your language? What is the particular flavor of your language? Why do you really communicate? To connect, to weave, to make space. What is your language all about? Dare to speak it. Even if you have been limited in the way you used your language, or maybe you didn't use your language at all to speak as you felt like you had to fit in somewhere. So this is the energy from the heart for September. I hope you're still here and I hope you're enjoying this and I hope it brings some value into your life. What's going on with the Sonic Songkos and Songkos worlds? Well, we, we have really taken this into account and we're really here to manifest and femifest what comes from our hearts and so our main focus if you wish is really the consciousness cafe that's coming up shortly i will put the link for you in the in the what you call it now in the writing below and the other thing that is coming up we have spaces now for a few more private journeys one or two because we're taking only a few to make sure we can really accommodate all what we're offering in that and the other thing says is really on the shop 
and I guess it will be up soon and I hope you enjoy that too. It's not only meditations and Sissy's arts but also a little bit of self-discovery. Some of us are very busy so we're putting our part of our courses together and you can just download it as audios and not PDFs because we're still trying to figure out how to download writing. So this is this is really the main thing that is going on here. We have also decided to offer particular Chakana Rising sessions, one session to your lift up your vibration so you can come into that presence. Again, I will put some links down. So thank you so much for being here. And if you are still here at the end, this is beautiful. I know it's difficult to sometimes take the time and listen to the end. So I hope you dare and those four points are useful for you. I'm happy to hear in the comments and of course there is much more about daring and there's much more about daring to shine our light at this time from the heart to manifest and manifest for the end of this year. Much love into your world and I see you soon.